read a quote from Inner Engineering and just kind of get your definition of joy. Um, this is the one that I pulled. I have lots, but this is the one I love the most. <laughs> joy is not some elusive spiritual goal. It is simply the background that is needed for any aspect of your life to unfold magically and wonderfully. <laughs> so I just love to know like how you define joy. Well, uh, if you could define it, uh, it would not be worth pursuing it. <laughs> yes, I love that. <laughs> because, uh, see, we're calling it by different names. Essentially, it is life, if it's exuberant, in its exuberance, uh, it may be joy, it may be blissfulness, it may be ecstasy. Well, if it's relatable, it may become love. Uh, these are all different manifestations of exuberance of life. Mm -hmm. Joy is not a philosophy that you take on. Like right now, it's become in pursuit of happiness. Where are you chasing it? And why is it elusive? <laughs> because you think it's somewhere else. It's just that this life, when it functions in an exuberant manner, not in a depressed way, in an exuberant manner, that means if you open the cork, it is exuberant. If you close it and keep it, then it becomes depressed. So mm -hmm. what is opening and closing when it comes to life? See, the fundamental thing is this, well, uh, once you become a human being, what it means is, all other creatures are instinctively bound by boundaries. Like, uh, you may not have seen this in Uni United States, but if you were somewhere else, you would see this. If you were in the wild, you would see it. All carnivorous animals, let's say a dog, if you leave him outside, he goes on peeing all over the place. He doesn't have any urinary infection or problem, he's uh, setting his boundary by his mm -hmm. smell. Mm -hmm. So he's building his own little pea kingdom of whatever. It's a big thing for him <laughs> because for him to be clear what belongs to him, what do doesn't belong to him, he has to set a boundary. But once you become a human being, when I say a human being, in a way, the highest point of evolution on this planet, that means the finest life on this planet must be us. Well, we are proving to be otherwise, that's a different matter. But uh, actually, we are the finest life on this planet, most intelligent, most refined, most capabilities in terms of our faculties, everything. So if this is the finest life, if you look at the longing of this life, what you would see is, whoever you are right now, you want to be something more than who you are right now. This doesn't stop anywhere. Even if I make you the queen of this planet, I'm, I'm not thinking of that, I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that rock, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you become the queen of this planet, uh, you will not be fulfilled. You will look at the moon, you will look at the other planets. You will, if I give you the whole, whole solar system, you look at a galaxy. If I give you one galaxy, you will look at the next one because there is something within a human being wants to expand limitlessly. So this yeah. is the fundamental shift that happened between animal nature and human nature. Animal nature is always trying to fix its boundaries because its only goal is survival. Once you become a human being, you're always seeing how to expand your boundaries because what you call as human begins to kick in only when survival is taken care of. When survival is in question, we are like any other creature, biological entities of food, sleep, reproductive uh, needs uh, and survival, you know, essentially. So yeah. this dimension of longing to expand is not about more, it wants to expand limitlessly. So the simplest thing is, if one is not identified with the limitations of one's own physical self, one's family, one's community, one's nationality, race, religion, caste, creed, whatever else, mm -hmm. 
if your identity is not like a limit on your ability to expand, then life will be naturally exuberant. When it's exuberant, mm -hmm. one form of its expression is joyfulness. So joy is not a practice, joy is not a philosophy, joy is not your ideology in life, nor is joy uh, coming down to you from heaven, because this has happened to the world that all the beautiful things that human beings have, have been exported to heaven. If you mm. say peace, people say divine peace. If yeah. you say love, they say God is love. If you say joy, people will say heavenly joy. No, no, these are all human things. Your peacefulness, your joyfulness, your loving nature, all these things can happen within you when you are willing. When I say willing, when you are a willing piece of life, you become a willing piece of life only when your identities are not limited. If you put a limit on your identity, then you are willing with one set of people, you are unwilling with another set of people. So in this, it is corked and there is no exuberance to this, but if you take off this cork because this whole thing is just a mental thing that you have fixed up boundaries for yourself, mm -hmm. if you take mm -hmm. away or erase these boundaries within you, you will see whether you sit, uh, stand or sleep, you will be joyful. You will even sleep yeah. joyfully, I'm saying. <laughs>